A lot of people think that Reimagining Malaysia is written when people are very hopeful. It's not. It's actually written at when everyone thinks it's impossible. So I thought of writing the book is to remind myself of what the dreams I had for this country. You know, things, miracles happen, you know. We changed the government and then now we are at the right side of the history and really to execute the change that we have always thought that we want to do and can only, only speak about and now we are in a position to bring those change. So, yeah. One thing I take away from Kampong Said or the rural areas that I have been to, the Orang Asli Kampong, uh, the Malay Kampongs uh, of which right now my constituency also is that um, a lot of time that people like us, you know, we, we get to university, you know, um, many people speak English and that we actually uh, are living in our bubble. We like to see numbers. If you look at the numbers, right, let's say uh, electrification, oh, you will see 99% of Malaysia is electrified. But the 1%, you think, ah, oh, it's negligible, you, just, you don't need to no, because they are statistics to you. But when you're a policy maker and you don't see them as a statistics and you really go and see their real life, you really want that 1% to get electrified as well. Whatever position that we are at, whether you are an adun, a small, uh, adun or councillor, or, or a member of parliament or minister, that our heart must be right. I think what we can bring to the table as a young person, to the ministry as well as to politics in Malaysia, is, uh, uh, is dynamics, uh, is energy, is the, is the optimism that things are possible, and it's possible. But as a female, I think um, we need to bring more voice of, uh, of different perspective. I really, really felt blessed to be able to, be, to play a small part in, in, in this change of the country. Yeah.